to me, I stand with the sort of the founding documents of this country, which is all men are created equal. There's a basic humanity. And there's something about tests of intelligence. Just knowing that some people are different, like the science of intelligence that shows that some people are genetically in some stable way across a lifetime, have a greater intelligence than others, makes people feel like some people are better than others. And that makes them very uncomfortable. And I, maybe you can speak to that. Like the fact that some people are more intelligent than others in a way that's, um, cannot be compensated through education, through anything you do in life. Um, what do we do with that? Okay, there's a lot there. <laughs> we haven't really talked about the genetics of it yet, but you are correct uh, in that it is my interpretation of, of the data that genetics has a very important influence on the G factor. And this is controversial, we can talk about it, but if you think that genetics, that genes are deterministic, are always deterministic, that leads to kind of the worry that you expressed. But we know now in the 21st century that many genes are not deterministic, they're probabilistic, meaning they, their, their uh, gene expression can be uh, influenced. Uh, now, whether they're influenced only by other biological variables uh, or other genetic uh, variables or environmental or cultural variables, that's where the controversy comes in. And we can come, we can discuss that in more detail if, if you like. But to go to the question about better, people better, there's zero evidence that smart people are better with respect to important aspects of life, like honesty, even likability. <laughs> I'm sure you know many very intelligent people who are not terribly likable or terribly kind or terribly honest. Is there something to be said? So one of the things I've recently reread for the second time, I guess that's what the word reread means, uh, <laughs> the rise and fall of the Third Reich, uh, which is, uh, I think, the best telling of the rise and fall of Hitler. And one of the interesting things about the people that, uh, how should I say it? Um, justified or maybe propped up the ideas that Hitler put forward is the fact that they were extremely intelligent. They were in the intellectual class. They were like, it was obvious that they they thought very deeply and rationally about the world. So what I would like to say is one of the things that shows to me is some of the worst atrocities in the history of humanity have been committed by very intelligent people. Um, so that, that means that intelligence doesn't make you a good person. I wonder if, um, you know, there's a G factor for intelligence. I wonder if there's a G factor for goodness. Uh, you know, the Nietzschean uh, good and evil, of course, that's probably harder to measure because that's such a subjective thing, what it means to be good. And even the idea of evil is um, a deeply uncomfortable thing because how do we know? But it's independent, whatever it is, it's independent of intelligence. So I, I agree with you about that. But let me say this, I have also asserted my belief that more intelligence is better than less. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean more intelligent people are better people, but all things being equal, would you like to be smarter or less smart? So if I had a pill, I have two pills. I said, this one will make you smarter, this one will make you dumber. Which one would you like? Are there any circumstances under which you would choose to be dumber? 